One of the challenges with introducing new or disruptive technology is that being ahead of the curve doesn't always mean uh, that the medical system has, has caught up with where the technology is. I'm Chris Berka, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer and also one of the original co-founders of Advanced Brain Monitoring. We've been in business now for over a decade. Um, we've developed a family of products that are designed to be highly mobile, very easy to use, portable, and provide assessment of psychophysiological signals, including the brain's electrical activity, and then we've developed software to interpret that activity to provide useful information for clinicians and scientists. We started off with a funding, 3.2 million in funding from the National Institutes of Health that funded our drowsiness monitoring system, which allowed us to study both sleep disorders as well as normal sleep and understand better the effects of drowsiness on, on daytime performance. Well, it's very important for us. Uh, we're, we are an ISO certified medical device manufacturer and we have FDA cleared products, including our, our X4 product. And there are a number of systems now on the market that record physiological signals, but are really designed for gaming or for toys and other gadgets. And they're fun and, and effective, but they're really not medical grade systems. So we always want to maintain that medical quality in all of our devices. We started out focusing primarily on the disorders of sleep and their effect on daytime performance, so insomnia, obstructive sleep apnea, uh, other, other things that cause you so a shift work sleep disorder that cause you to get a poor night's sleep. But now we've branched out um, looking at some of the neurological diseases, including epilepsy, autism, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, and the psychiatric diseases, including depression, post-traumatic stress disorder and looking at anxiety and other psychiatric issues as well. Scientists and engineers have been working for many years to develop ways that we could directly communicate with our computers instead of working through a keyboard or a mouse or even a game controller. Um, the idea is you want a direct brain to computer system that, that where your computer identifies exactly what you're thinking and, and process that in real time. And we have come a little bit closer to that um, for spinal cord patients as well as for uh, patients with Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS, locked in disorder, where we've created systems that can analyze the brain's activity in real time and allow them to interact with the computer and, and actually produce text uh, or do you know, menu selection and web searching without the use of a keyboard. The evolution of the brain-computer interface has been really enhanced by the development of uh, chip technologies as well as faster processing times. And I think there's a significant future for brain-computer interfaces for both diseases and for normal individuals who want to interface with their computer that way. Well, it's very important, particularly in the clinical medical domain, that you validate your technologies against the existing gold standards. And you have to do that through a process of working with other independent scientists and clinicians, and then publishing those studies in the peer review journal. And one of the distinctions of our company is that many of our technologies have been evaluated on several hundred or even several, several thousand people before we go to market with them. And those results are then published in the, in the scientific journals. We believe that's an important part of establishing efficacy for any new technology. A hallmark of our technology is that uh, we've, we've built the hardware platforms for acquiring the data that, uh, and we've also allowed uh, other programmers who've developed their own software for analyzing the data to interface with our technology through a software developer's kit. So we try to, we can, we can provide layers and layers of software and analysis. Alternatively, if you've, you're a software programmer or there's existing medical software, uh, we allow you to do the handshake and, and 
layer that software on top of our hardware. Well, we sell direct, so you can purchase any of our system, any of the X series systems, the X4, the X24, and the X10 through us. Uh, we also have a distribution relationship with Biopack, um, who sells to researchers worldwide, and we have uh, a relationship with a company called B Medical that is uh, sells exclusively in Australia and New Zealand, sells all of our products there. They can easily go to our website at www.b, the letter B, hyphen alert.com.